What's going on out there, YouTube? Your boy back here again with another sport topic. Right now, as the recording of this video, um, Cleveland has been in talks with Chicago to try to acquire Jim Butler, which is a good thing they should be trying to do. They should try to you know, advance and get better. And you know, there's also the rumors out there, Paul George, of them trying to get Paul George. And there's also rumor talks of Paul George going to LA or LA trading for him. Lakers do not trade for him. I said that in my last video. Do not trade for him. Let him wait. Wait till next summer. Let him come to you free. Don't give up nothing for him. And then now, the Knicks have floated the idea out there that they're open to deal Chris Porzingis. And to be honest, if I'm the Cavs ownership, I'll be trying to get Chris Porzingis. Now, if you arguing, I know what y'all already out there saying that Porzingis. Well, yeah, if you arguing about who's better, yeah, Jimmy Butler is better. Paul George is better than Chris Porzingis. But, I'm going to throw this out there to you. See, I know most of y'all Cavs fans out there are not really Cavs fans. Y'all LeBron fans. And if LeBron next year decided to go play for Shanghai Banham in somewhere in China, y'all going to be Shanghai Banham fans and not Cleveland Cavalier fans. So I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to people who li really live in Cleveland, Ohio. Dan Gilbert, the actual Cleveland Cavalier fans. Y'all, and unless they're asking for too much, it all depends on what they're asking. If, if you able to do it with Shumper and Kevin Love and, and maybe J.R. Smith, something like that, but well, probably not because they came from New York, so they probably wouldn't want to Shumper and J.R. Smith back, so never mind. But if y'all trying to, if y'all can get it with Kevin Love, not really give up Kyrie or nothing like that, I get Chris Porzingis. This is the reason why. Chris Porzingis is only 21 years old. And I don't care if you do get Paul George or Jimmy Butler. I really don't think Cleveland will beat Golden State next year. In my honest opinion, I really don't. With those two, yeah, they'll be better. But I don't really think Cole Harley, they're just going to go out there and just beat Cleveland. I mean, beat uh, Golden State. So you might run the risk of losing LeBron anyway. And if you get Paul George and Jimmy Butler and y'all lose in the finals next year, all three, all of them going to walk. LeBron going to walk and Paul George going to walk. LeBron going to walk and Jimmy Butler going to walk. Chris Porzingis still going to be there. So you have to think of as an organization – uh, you have to look past. You can't just be looking for next year. Next year, this is one of the reasons why I did not want y'all to trade Kevin Love and get Kevin Love. I think y'all should have kept Wiggins. Because just when LeBron leaves, when he retires or whatever, you still got um, Wiggins for another seven, eight years. Chris Porzingis is 21. Let me throw some numbers out there to you. Chris Porzingis is 7'3". He's only 21 years old. He's 7'3". He can shoot the three. His shooting, um, his three-point shooting is um, 34% from three. Jimmy Butler. 33 from three. Paul George, 37 from three. Chris Porzingis, free throw, 81%. Jimmy Butler, 82%. Paul George, 85%. He's right there. And he's only 21. He's only been in the league two years. He's only he's like he's a young player. So it's not like he's an old veteran. These guys, these other two guys are old set in their ways. As far as they, they really not going to advance that too much. But Porzingis, he averaged seven rebounds a season. Um, for the past two seasons, averaged, averaged seven rebounds. Averaged 18 points per game. He is perfect to fit in that Chris Boss role that LeBron had in Miami. They, like, he, he's sit back there for three and get rebounds. And he's a rim protector. So, I mean, you ain't stopping KD. But when when uh Clay and Draymond and... um. Curry are going out there for little layups. Look, hey, you got somebody to protect the rim. And he can step back and hit the three. His three point percent his three point percentage is above Jimmy Butler's and a tad lower than uh Paul George. And then all their free throw percentages are one or two away from each other. So you baby heaven. Now, like what I said in my other video, yeah, with Paul George and most likely Jimmy Butler, they're gonna get more than six points in a game in a closeout game five. I don't know about Porzingis because Porzingis has never been in the playoffs. So, I don't know how he would react in a playoff situation, in a final situation. Uh, Paul George and Jimmy Butler are more experienced. And I, if you talking about that, I completely agree with you. And if you just about winning the championship this year, I completely understand. But I'm talking to the Cleveland Cavaliers fans who are actually real fans of Cleveland Cavaliers. If, no matter if LeBron's there and LeBron's gone. And Dan Gilbert, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers, you have to think about your organization, not just today, not just tomorrow. You got to think about it for years to come. And if LeBron leaves or retires, Chris Porzingis and Kyrie will still be a formidable duo in the in the East. I'm not saying they're gonna win the East, but they'll still be they'll be better than if you 
get Paul George and then y'all lose and then they both gone and then you just Kyrie got Kyrie next year. Cause you might just be an AC. That's all I'm saying. Now now again, I would rather like if it's just off of today, one game, yeah, I'd rather have Jimmy Butler or Paul George. But I'm talking about it as an organizational standpoint, as the building of organization years to come. Now, like I said, most of you people out there watching this watching this video and who are Cavalier fans are really not true Cavalier fans. You are LeBron fans. So no matter if LeBron goes to the Lakers, the Clippers, the Knicks, the Nets, the Heat, the Suns, the Rockets, a D-League team, it don't matter wherever LeBron said you're going to be a LeBron fan and you're not worried about what happens to Cleveland after LeBron leaves. So I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the actual real Cavalier fans and the real owner and general manager who they just told today that they're not going to uh, open up his con They're not going to re-sign re his contract. And I think they're talking to Chauncey Billups to be in the gym. And I think Chauncey Billups, he might be in the mindset of, let me just try to get some more rings. He, you know, he got one as a player, maybe try to get a ring this year. So... If they do decide to hire him, if they go there right, I don't know what Cleveland's doing. Cleveland actually, to me, seems like a big mess. And that's another reason why Lakers don't trade for Paul George. Because even if the Cavaliers acquire Paul George, I don't think he's going to stay. Because that, I think Cleveland's a bigger mess than the end is organizationally-wise. So he's going to end up coming to L.A. anyway. So, But I think there's talks of him actually trading. I mean, the Lakers trading and trying to talk about acquiring. They, they're trying to get other picks together. To acquire Paul George, don't give up assets to get Paul George. Wait till he come next year. Don't do that. I holler. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit, click that bell to get more videos. I update this every day. I do videos every single day because it's always sports, especially right now in the off season. The best off season basketball is always sport topics. So I'm doing this every day. So like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't, and let's get it.